Hey, so I just wanted to give you a follow up on the next day. This is what it looks like the next day after the incident took place. Yeah, it's getting worse before it gets better. Uh, yeah. This this part of the bicep uh, detached from you know the tendon, so the bicep rolled up. I think this one is still kind of attached, so I can move a little bit. That's gotta get you know sewed back up. That's where we at. Hey guys. I'm going in, so see you on the other side. So, hi everybody. Uh, we're going in to get this thing off. I haven't seen my arm in almost a week. <laughs> so we'll see what it looks like. It feels uh, really numb, these fingers and such. So I can't wait to get this thing, you know, get my arm out of it. And see what's underneath. And see what happened, you know, what they did. Damage control. I'll be sharing with you momentarily. I don't know how much I can record while I'm in there. So I'm just doing some preliminary whatever. But if I can, I will give you more updates as we go inside. See you in a minute. Yeah, I guess it's different this time around because last time I didn't know what to expect. You know what I mean? Right. It was all new. So whatever the outcome was going to be, oh, it's great as this. And now I don't know, I have no idea, you know, what's going to happen or kind of have an idea because the recovery sucked. Right. And they might tell you, oh, it didn't go as planned. And he did come out and tell me. It's fucking only 60%, not 80%. He did tell me they got you like this. So that was good. Uh, I know, but I'm saying the fucking disappointments and surprises of what they first tell you and then what the outcome is. It just still doesn't excuse anything. You're still mm -hmm. left with this bullshit. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I still can't feel my thumb, my index finger. Real numb. I had my first contraction. It's like, do I have a bicep again? Unreal feeling. <laughs> Arm. I have to stay like this for 12 weeks. Yes, yeah, so I'm trying to recollect what the f went down in here, but so I ripped my tendon from the bone like a mop, like you know, frizzles. So there was just too many pieces to attach, so they rolled it up, made a hole in my forearm bone talked it through the forearm bone and put a button on the other side and then I gotta retrain the tendon to get the length so I can get a full range of motion. So that's like a tube in your bone. So there's like a tube inside my bone and the, the tendon, you know, weaved through it and then buttoned up on the other end. So I guess a whole lot went into it. Because of the severity of the injury. So yeah, long recovery, six, 12 weeks of this. Mm-hmm. What do they have you locked at? What percent? 90 degrees for now, and then gradually they're going to open it up, let me gain more range of motion, you know, and such and such. The pain is horrific. So, if you get in the injury, this is what's coming. Hey, what's up, you guys? Hey, what's going on, you guy? <laughs> uh, what's going on, everyone? Uh, just a quick update on what is going on. I uh, got my cast removed. I got the brace. I just took it off because I was in the shower. I wanted to see the, show you the atrophy in the arm versus my regular arm. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, I can't still, can't really move much. And there's an incredible amount of pain trying to move my wrist since they put a hole in my forearm bone and stuff so yeah we're on a way to recovery but i gotta tell you it's very unnerving not to be able to feel your thumb and your index finger for over two weeks now so hopefully that'll return i need these uh opposable thumbs <laughs> so 
there it is my friends that's the update thank you for you know having my back and listen to my ramblings and everything else for anyone that's interested in you know the recovery full recovery and everything else i'll post some more stuff you know it's it is kind of crazy to be honest what do you have to go through <laughs> just to come back but yeah, that's just more for another video so thank you again for joining for stopping by if you haven't already consider subscribing there will be some more materials mostly about dogs from now on and the raw feeding and stuff like that so yeah i appreciate you everyone and see you on the next